Sean Sport in podcast form. An absolute cakewalk for our Matildas last night against Uzbekistan. Played at uh, Marvel Stadium. 50,000 people went along, which is fantastic mm, to see the so girls good. dominate. Michelle Kenzie. Heyman, um, who hasn't played yeah. for Australia since 2018. Well, since Saturday, but before that, since oh, 2018. Yeah. In Australia. <laughs> and uh, she was battling injury a few years ago, and then she was kind of like, didn't just trying to get a body right. She didn't. She missed the yes. season and then came back and started playing. But they were saying that because of Sam Kerr being up front and a number of others, that you, there was no room for her. And she was probably just, you know, playing A-League. And she's scoring a lot of goals still at A-League, but it was overlooked for so long. Wow. So there's like little huge stars just waiting in the wings. Yes. And ready she's kicked to go. five goals in two games. That's amazing. Not it, bad, hey? That, 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 that crowd is fantastic too, 50,000 yeah. people, because when the whole Matildas thing was happening, mm. um, uh, you are wondering if this is just a fad, are people mm. just jumping on? Is it translating down to grassroots? Too early to say. You would hope so, though. Yeah, You'd I hope, hope so. You're you talking you about can... crowds and people going to watch. Like, you know, there's, there's oh, less, no, less, they're they're less no, competition. No, it's nah, about not. getting people yeah. on the field. Yeah, well, the not, not grassroots, say Perth Glory, sort of, you know, that yeah, sort nah, of thing. Yeah, no, not at all. No, 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 right. no one's going to watch, okay. actually. And uh, the A League need to kick in the ass to be able to get their game front and square. I think on, on the, the East back Coast, of some, of the, some of the A League teams in Sydney and Melbourne have got bigger crowds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sort of, not 50,000 people, of course, but you're not going to get that. Yeah. It's like like AFL to waffle. You don't the crowd. Oh, of course not. No, no, but the, the, the gap but the gap between the NRL and the AFL, just using those two and the lesser sport, even the NBL, you can trust that the NBL are going to be very busy in, in crowd numbers. But the gap has just got too wide. Okay. And rugby league's one of them who have dropped off the off the perch, and so is the A League, who who have the opportunity on the back of the Matildas yeah. and the Socceroos many years ago when they had Viduka and uh, yes. Harry Kuhl and all the gang. They had the opportunity to really springboard their competition, and they haven't been able to sustain it at mm. all. So they need a kick in the ass, to be fair. <laughs> Michelle um, <laughs> Haven was the one who scored all those goals, which I mentioned about. She said it's really been fantastic the way Coach Tony Gustafsson has treated her. The support that I get from Tony and the staff and the team has just been incredible, and it's you know it allows me to just play and to have fun and you know be free because I think as a forward you don't want to have so much um, restrictions on yourself. You just want to be able to get out there and just do what you do best. Um, and I'm just finding my feet and finding myself in good positions. She's really 35, like by the way. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. A, she's so a veteran. For now. most people, that wouldn't be. She wouldn't be playing. She no, just wouldn't. They would overlook her, look for someone else younger. Yeah. Mm. But she can but find the back it. of the net. <laughs> I really like the fact that she felt that she had the backing of the coach, even though mm. she hadn't played in the Australian system for quite some time. Just go there and have fun and enjoy yeah. it. Because most. Co- you would think coming in and you haven't played uh, yeah, for a long time. Going, you've got a lot to prove and yeah. you've got to get out yeah. there and make sure you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really, that's great. I mean, yeah. and, if, and if that's the feeling that their team have got, no wonder yeah. they're doing so well and no wonder the, no yeah. those girls are so happy. Yeah, um, off to Paris. for Caitlin Torpy, though. So she's she been scored brought in. Yep. They, they made, they've made her wear number 20, which is Sam Kerr's number. It's like, oh, there are other numbers. Are, get other shirts. Heaps, like, that's too much them. pressure to put yeah. on a kid. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, yes. Can you get the goalkeeper shirt yes, now? Uh, it's sold out in record time, and they're looking to yeah. um, bring out more. How it, long it, did it take for Nike to bring that out? Oh, well, so the World Cup was, what, last year? August? September? Uh, when was that? Yeah, oh, I can't even remember. Yeah. Why yeah. did it take that long yeah. to... And once again, it's literally sold out online in, in, a, in, a, in the blink of an eye. to make a shirt mm. that they know is going to sell. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't, yeah, it? isn't it? Uh, the kids were on school holidays, I think. <laughs> uh, and finally, Sam <laughs> Pell Pepper. <laughs> Sam Pell Pepper. He got four weeks in the <laughs> AFL for the you concussion. It. And he came out afterwards and he said, yeah, he totally accepts it. He understands it. Um, they'll consider their position, which meant that on the news last night, they were reporting they may appeal. And I thought... Not no, they're going to appeal. appeal. So this morning, their Port Adelaide Football Club put out a thing saying, "Yeah, we we accept the decision. We will not appeal, even though we thought there was grounds to." And you're like, mm, no, "There's no grounds there's to no, no grounds you knocked to. a guy out four yeah. weeks. We all know the si- yeah. situation. Yeah, go on a holiday, regroup, come back <laughs> for the fourth round <laughs> of the season." Quick look at the West Australian. You'll see that Harley Reid is back page of the paper again. He's not back page. He, he, he was the inside he's... the back page. No, he's on oh, the back page he? because he's the person in the middle when they've got a young star's collage of oh. players to come. He's the number one person oh. in the middle and then it fans out off him. So and that's Natalie, the back page. Oh. This, is, this is your problem is that you never truly get into a collage. 
Yeah, that's true. I that's am, my I, main issue. I, I have, I have, collage, I have collage blindness. You do. Sorry, famously. Sorry, Sean. And you are right, Nat. One page in, yeah. it's a full There's spread. There's a story about him. Yeah. And she's yeah. never okay. once found good Wally way. either. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Um, West Coast Eagles and Fremantle are both heading over to Adelaide tomorrow. They're playing, um, West Coast Eagles are playing the Adelaide Football Club and Fremantle are playing Port Adelaide. It's their last real hit out before the season proper. So we'll wait and see how that goes. There's a bit of uh, shade being thrown from that newspaper I was just talking about oh. on Justin Longmuir. What's the and tea, And it has Sean? been for a long time yeah. about whether he will get the axe this year or a contract extension. Ooh. The articles are all kind of leaning towards if he doesn't get it right, he will go. But, of course, that's just common knowledge. If you don't... If you I was don't, like stating the obvious. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've been pushing this agenda for quite some time. So um, uh, we'll wait and see how that plans out. But I'd expect Fremantle to be pretty handy. I think they're missing that small forward, you know, like Lockie Schultz who left and has gone to Collingwood. Oh, yeah, but I, I believe they'll be really, really handy. The players are oh, another year older. This is bad news for Fremantle if Sean's making the nah, call. No, it's not. They've actually got depth, but they're another year older. They're another year yes. stronger. So these guys are now around, you know, there's a few of them so around the 23. the sauce has been simmering for a little while. Yeah, no, it has. And yeah. that's the problem with West Coast. Um, I mean, apart from they've got an older team than Fremantle. Across the board, but, but the couple, younger yeah. ones are really young, and the older ones are really old. <laughs> yeah, so Freo have got just got to, got to that border in the next couple of years. They'll still have twenty five year olds. Is this their premiership window, Sean? Um, I would think more so next year now because mm. they don't have the forwards to kick the goals. Those guys are still, you know, a couple of years away to being at their so true talent. I saw Fifey sort of on the news, yeah. so Fifey's ready to go. He's Uninjured. ready every year at this time, no? Yeah, yeah but like, so how many games has he played over the last couple of years? A couple years? of years, probably Handful. 15 maybe. God, how amazing would that be? I know that he wants to play, but for normal yeah. people, imagine oh, yeah. that in yeah, two yeah. years' time, you're still getting paid and you've only done yeah. your job 15 times. Yeah. I know, well, yeah. he's you know spending a lot of time doing rehab yeah, for injuries, that's har- isn't he? Yeah, that's heartbreaking that situation. Yes. And finally, Australia playing New Zealand as we speak over in Wellington. It's this the first cricket, test Nathan. in a two-game yeah. series. Yep. I was just thinking, um, so at the moment it's lunch, right? So think about all the sports in the world that play and you go into half time in a lot of sports and you have a drink and then mm. the coach gives you the message and you get back out there and play. How many other sports do you know? that actually have a lunch break and a <laughs> tea break. That's nice. Isn't That's it? polite. It but is they po- are playing polite for can you have a biscuit? than the regular, uh, like other sports play for. Most definitely. Yeah. So the, the tea break, so the tea break, so... Tea break's not that long. It's only about 15 minutes. And can you have tea? Just an Earl, Bray, uh, an Earl Grey, Nathan. Are you allowed uh, A Twinings? Are you, what, what are you a Twinings guy, aren't you? I, I, I'm, I'm a Twinings guy for my regular everyday, just like, what about you know, when you're treating the yourself? bread and butter. I'm, uh, when I'm treating myself, I have an array of T2 situations. And then you have to whip yourself immediately I afterwards. New, I have New York breakfast, which is um, sort of a pancakey taste in your um, <laughs> thing. Home. Are you serious? Oh, you yeah. want a tea that tastes like pancakes? It's like, it doesn't exactly taste no. like pancakes, but it's sort of got that feeling about it. Melbourne breakfast is one of my favourites with the vanilla. Um, but if you go into T2, they do these special. There was a Christmas time tea they just did last Yule season, and I really got into that. <laughs> Yule. <laughs> Don't come in here saying the word Yule. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Yule will regret it. Who do you think you are? You're from Kalgoorlie. Stop it. Australia Yule. 1 for 62. Yule. Okay, great. Thanks for the update. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where you finished? Okay. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.